Sagittarius, hello. Welcome to Divine Debut. Thank you for taking the time out to watch these videos. I am sorry that the mid-April that I promised I would do, that the readings were not up on time, but I did uh, have a problem with my hand, a small accident, and I wasn't able to complete them by mid-month. Now, this is a love reading for you guys uh, for the period 20th to 30th of April 2016 and it is regarding love okay thank you all for liking sharing and subscribing to my channel thank you I do appreciate it very much and I do apologize for for the sound of the April readings I am trying out new ways of doing things and obviously I didn't do such a good job of it for April Hopefully the sound will be better for you guys for this uh, reading. Thank you for your patience and for putting up with me. Now, Sagittarius, we do have the King of Autumn first, which is the King of Pentacles. Uh, secondly, we have the Five of Summer, which is the Five of Cups. Uh, the third card is the Six of Spring, which is the Six of Wands. And the main energy is the Emperor, which is the Major Arcana card number four, which also um, stands for Aries. It's the card of Aries. Now, um, with the first card, the King of Pentacles, Sagittarius, I would say that this is your partner. For the people who are partners, partnered up or in a marriage uh, uh in a in a coupled uh, situation we do have the king of uh, pentacles and he is a person who is an entrepreneur he's a um he's very um abundant uh with his material wealth and um he, uh, usually the uh king of pentacles is a very stable uh stable sort of a person with his feet firm firmly planted on the ground and uh, he's a person that you can usually depend on and um, and one who can be very supportive now um, because I do uh, like to pull a few clari clarifying cards I do have the um, three cards underneath the king of pentacles which are the first one is the temperance card which is a major arcana card and it's all about healing and um, you know being guided uh, from the divine and um, it is a very positive card but I in this sense I would say that it's all about healing and trying to find the balance uh, the next card is the seven of cups which is all about choices illusions making the right choice uh, taking the right path yeah um, the third card is the world card which could mean that there is travel involved otherwise in other senses it's the completion of a um, a situation and the beginning of another now these cards little uh you know they did the way they've uh, come out in the reading it has made me think uh, that uh, there is a bit of a muddled up situation here and i had a little bit of trouble working these cards out uh, you can already see all the cards on your on your screen uh, because the, the King of Autumn, King of Pentacles is one of the first main card and then down the bottom next to the Emperor we do have the King of Pentacles again. Now I'm, um, I'm sure this is your partner being an earth sign, yeah? Uh, Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus, uh, Sagittarius, I would say that this entrepreneur because that's what this card speaks about it speaks about someone who's very busy with work someone who's um, very capable uh, they're very much into materialistic things they you know they um, do strive to have more so um, that sounds a lot like Taurus to me but it's not going to be Taurus for everybody uh, Virgos are very hard workers and so are Capricorns um, but, and Virgos are leaders, of course. Uh, generally, the earth signs are all about materialistic, uh, you know, acquiring materialistic uh, things into their life. Um, 
but uh, this person is one who is an entrepreneur that's what I can uh, sense and um, because of the world card it seems to me like there has been uh, a situation where there needs to be healing I think that more than likely your partner needs to be healed because we do have the five of summer five of cups which is next to the uh, king of pentacles now the five of cups is all about uh, focusing on the three spilled cups right in the rider weight tarot um, th this person is in mourning and he's not uh, he's not focusing on the two cups that are filled behind him and um, this actually this card that's in front of me the five of summer says that trust that there is a reason for everything that happens that's just the way the universe works um, and uh, you have to always think positively and look look on the bright side look at the two cups that are still standing this situation has made you uh, feel down and you know quite you're quite introverted you're mourning you're you're in sorrow regarding this king king of pentacles i would say from my intuition because we do have the ace of pentacles which is underneath which is all about material goods and um the uh the devil card which is all about materialism right and being feeling bound uh to something or someone and then we do have the eight of cups uh where this man is you know leaving the situation and and moving on obviously his cups are not uh haven't fulfilled his life he doesn't have enough uh emotions to stay in this situation he's looking for a more emotional experience so he's moving on so i'm thinking that more than likely um this partner of yours this earth sign is in a situation where he he has been taken over his will uh you know he's got so much will and strive to to capture and to to become more abundant and to have more and more and more because we do have the ace of pentacles so um i think that you were feeling bound to this person but this person was feeling bound to his monies, to his abundance, to his work, to his career. So he was giving all of himself to to his career. And uh, you, you came to a place where you weren't happy at all with the situation because uh, there wasn't enough room in this earth sign's life for you. So uh, you felt the need that you need, you know, that you need to, to move ahead and you know um leave the situation um and i think that most of you will have come to this situation where you you need to move on now the six of spring the six of wands means that you have been successful uh in some cases you have been successful in able to in being able to get away from this relationship or you have been successful to to help your partner to come to terms with the fact that life is not just money life is not just career there are so many different situations so many different uh realms in our life so many different uh stages and so many different uh you know beautiful things that we can acquire in our life and they're not just only relating to material goods so i have a feeling that there was a lot of uh, love here but uh, the situation got to the point where it got so difficult with this devil uh, card because it is a major arcana card and there would have been a fair bit of drinking and drowning your sorrows regarding this situation right um but the six of spring the six of wands um shows to me that um because it is wands too and you guys are fire are a fire sign sagittarius so it looks to me as though you have strived for success and you are um you know getting to the bottom of this situation because we do have the the nine of uh, wands which is underneath the six of wands which means that this person has persevered he has 
been through the battle and he's still standing and there's just one more one more wand you know to get to the uh to his goal so you are close to your goal uh next to the nine of wands we do have the queen of swords so obviously the the situation has been brought forth and there has been words between you and your partner regarding this situation and um again here we have the moon the moon card which is a major arcana now out of the 12 uh, signs that i've done for the uh for these love readings maybe at least the 10 of them do have the moon card in the reading which is you know amazing to me it's wow and i'm thinking okay because we are getting close to the full moon so it's that time of the month where there will be clarity clarity is coming to you know to you and your situation and the haziness is going away so you're seeing the light you do have the um the emperor which is the major arcana card so uh, as i said uh, the emperor is uh, the card of aries uh, another fire sign now um the emperor is someone that everyone can depend on he he calls the shots he's someone who is standing by you um standing by you or this could be a situation where you are standing by your partner and you did um you know you went, went ahead and um uh, had a nice talk with your partner and said look this is how things are uh things have got to change or you know i'm moving on you have persuaded your partner uh that that's not the right way to go about things and that it's not a fulfilling relationship and the because we do have the king of pentacles again next to the emperor um it's showing to me that uh, this king of pentacles your partner this earth sign is still in the picture so um you did uh, give this person an ultimatum from what i could see and uh he is coming around um he is changing his way of thinking he's changing his tact you are having um clarity with the ace of swords okay this is an aha moment it's the truth coming out and i can see that your partner is actually putting you above everything else because the relationship is still here we do have the two of pentacles where uh there is juggling going on and these pentacles are not being dropped they're being juggled in a proper way you know in the right manner so it says to me that balance is coming to your relationship and all is well at the end of the day uh after all this hard time um as i said not all is lost the two cups are still standing so there is still a relationship there with this earth sign sagittarius you have been victorious with the six of wands okay and um i suppose this relationship would have been worth you know the fight uh obviously good on you now the single people are obviously going to be uh crossing their paths with an earth sign okay someone who is very abundant and has all the qualities of the king of pentacles so it's someone who's um very down to earth very uh supportive uh he's a person who knows uh what to do when to do it he's a person that you can depend on and um it's it's a great match earth with uh fire Sagittarius uh it's going to be great. Now look uh for this person. Uh probably when you're out having drinks, I would say there is going to be a new beginning. Um around the end of the um the end of the month, I would say that you will be clashing with this person, not literally. Uh you will be meeting this person. Um yeah, a new path is opening up for you and uh it's going to be great as we could see the last three clarifying cards we do have the king of pentacles the ace of swords okay new beginnings 
and the two of pentacles where you will be juggling this relationship doing really well um yeah i think that's about it you guys for this uh for the end of april um do let me know do do comment if this uh reading does resonate with any of you people because it was quite specific and uh, i really don't care to um and it's not going to be able to resonate with everyone as long as uh, we do get some clarity for some people uh that'll be great uh do go and watch your moon and rising signs that may help you along as well so you might get a bit more information there now i will try and get the may readings up before the before the uh beginning of may i think i've already said that thank you so much for watching and for all your support sagittarius okay keep well and i'll talk to you soon bye